hey guys welcome back to another brand new video in today's video we are gonna be talking about bitcoin and crypto as a whole okay so in this video we are going to be talking about bitcoin and crypto and for the people out there that are watching this video right now right if you're a bitcoin holder or if you're just a cryptocurrency holder in general right be prepared for what is about to happen okay because this is some bad news i have a feeling okay i have a gut feeling right like i've been checking the market okay i look at the bitcoin chart you know i even look at the ethereum chart and some old, other altcoins you know what i mean and i feel like next month in may june july okay sometime in those months right we are going to have a huge crash okay this this is just going to be a huge crash and you may think to yourself you know how's that po like possible you know what i mean like We've been having a downtrend ever since the beginning of early this year. You know what I mean? We had a crash in January. We had a crash in February. You know what I mean? In March, right? We had a crash, right? April, we even had a crash. You know what I mean? Like, it feels like cryptocurrency right now is not really doing much. You know what I mean? Like, Bitcoin um, and the crypto market is not really doing much. Okay, so for my Bitcoin holders out there and, of course, for my crypto holders out there, right? If you hold any cryptocurrency right on the market just be prepared for some bad news coming up you know next month or in june or in july okay because if you guys didn't know you know what i mean if we look back in 2021 right um we saw in may june and july there was a huge crash you know what i mean especially in like may and june right with bitcoin ethereum and pretty much the whole crypto market right there was a huge crash i saw bitcoin at eighty four thousand dollars. you know what i mean at about i think it was in like early in 2021 you know in february right it was and that was its all-time highs at that time you know what i mean um and then it crashed all the way down to like you know forty thousand dollars in may june and july you know what i mean um it was around that range you know forty to fifty thousand dollars for three months right so it wasn't doing anything for like three months you know what i mean and i feel like this year sorry my phone is going off twitter's just going absolutely off you know what i mean um but yeah i just feel like you know history does repeat itself you know what i mean i feel like this year the same thing is going to happen right even though yes this year for 2022 so far it seems like nothing's really um gaining here you know what i mean like it just feels like we're still going on a downtrend and you know it's consolidating it's just going on a straight line and then it'll just go back up and then it'll just go down guys this is the whole part of cryptocurrency and bitcoin you know what i mean it's volatile this market you guys have to understand okay is really 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 volatile right there are bitcoin crashes you know what i mean um you know articles co coming out saying like this country is banning you know bitcoin and cryptocurrency and then the market crashes or there's whales like all these type of things you know what i mean that crashes bitcoin and the crypto market right so this is completely normal but i just have a gut feeling that in a month time two months time you know what i mean i feel like bitcoin is going to crash to like back down to like forty thousand dollars here in australia i'm talking about um AUD prices here you know what i mean um maybe in america it will go back down to thirty thousand dollars like we really don't know this is the thing about you know bitcoin and people predicting about the bitcoin price you know what i mean me included right i personally said guys like i don't think bitcoin will ever go down to like you know 40 30 20 ten thousand dollars ever again but this is the thing we don't know okay like none of us realistically know we're just predicting you know what i mean like where the bitcoin price is heading you know what i mean but we all know for a fact that bitcoin is 100 percent gonna go up because it's scarce okay this is the main reason why because bitcoin is really scarce you know what i mean once the demand goes up for bitcoin you know more people want to buy in bitcoin and want to own bitcoin you know what i mean and not everyone can own bitcoin because there's only a limited supply of bitcoins you know what i mean because not everyone in this world can own a bitcoin or a percentage of a bitcoin right um because there's like over you know 7 billion people and there's only 21 million bitcoins you know what i mean so think about that you know what i mean so i reckon down in the future right bitcoin is going to be trading out millions of dollars that's 100 percent going to happen and like i said like just then you know what i mean people are predicting like 
predictions like the price predictions but guys think about it like bitcoin is like li literally going to reach millions of dollars because of that reason it's really scarce but like bitcoin is like rare to own you know what i mean and, and it's going to be even more extremely rare to own in like 2030 right but what i'm saying is right now is like we really don't know where bitcoin is really heading realistically like let's saw i made it here you know what i mean like realistically yes i say i made a whole video saying you know Bitcoin is going to reach one hundred thousand dollars in two thousand and twenty-two, and I'm I, and I'm I still believe in that. You know what I mean? Maybe, um, at sometime at the end of this year, okay. I really do believe Bitcoin is going to reach one hundred thousand dollars by the end of this year in two thousand and twenty-two. But here's the thing, right? There's a lot of dips, okay. There's a lot of dips and there's a lot of crashes with Bitcoin. I feel like there's more bad news with Bitcoin than good news, right? Realistically, I'm just saying. You know what I mean? But hey, that could change. You know what I mean? That could literally change. So Bitcoin right now, guys, is not doing anything, right? It's really boring. You know what I mean? It really is. Bitcoin right now, you know, we saw it at $64,000 and now it's back down to $54,000. You know what I mean? Like literally, I'll just show you guys um, the chart real quick on what I mean. Um, and of course, I'm talking about Australian prices here. Okay. I always got to remind you guys, you know what I mean? <clears throat> so you guys can see this is the month chart. This is what I'm talking about right here. Okay, so we're all the way up here, you know. All the way up here. Hold on, let me just show you guys. $64,000. You guys can see, right? And then now we are back down all the way over here. The current price, 54. 54.7, pretty much. You know what I mean? So it's like a hill. You guys can see that. Like, we, we're on our roll. Or on an uptrend and then we're just going back down and that's just whole part of bitcoin i've been telling you guys this like bitcoin is really volatile and if you can't handle the volatility that bitcoin has and crypto as a whole has you know what i mean the crypto market right because it's really volatile right if you can't handle it i've been telling you guys to not invest in this market if you can't if you genuinely can't handle it and it's screwing with your head and it's going with your emotions like all these other things leave right like literally don't invest in bitcoin and ethereum and old coins that are on the crypto market right because it's really volatile that's the thing that you guys have to understand you know what i mean if you can't invest long term and be patient then don't invest your money into bitcoin and crypto right but if you guys are still bullish like myself you know what i mean and a lot of other people right that are cryptocurrency investors you know what i mean that are invested into cryptocurrency you know what i mean if you guys are still bullish right um just know okay just know there are big things, okay? There are going to be big things coming for Bitcoin and cryptocurrency for the long term, okay? For the short term, like, we just really have to be patient, you know what I mean? Times like these, you know what I mean? Yes, it's hard, you know what I mean? Like, we are in the red and all that, or we may be in the greens. Like, it doesn't really mean anything, you know? What I learned, guys, being um, a cryptocurrency investor for almost a year now, okay? It's literally been almost a year now since I was um, investing into cryptocurrency. What I learned is you have to be really patient, with crypto and bitcoin like you have to be really patient you know what i mean and not to fomo in you know the fear of like missing out and all that you know what i mean like that's the one thing you know what i mean because i bought like i said there's this cryptocurrency called axie infinity and i bought it at its all-time highs you know it was at like over 200 dollars. i believe it was like 220 dollars, and now it's all the way down to like 60 70 80 dollars you know what i mean so obviously um I lost money well technically i didn't lose okay i didn't lose money because i still have the same positions you know what i mean like i still have the same um amount that i bought you know what i mean i didn't sell any of my positions so technically i didn't lose if i sell now then yes i'll sell at a loss you know what i mean so obviously i'm still holding my positions right but that's just an example right there you know what i mean i pretty much fomoed into axie infinity when i saw it skyrocketing so never FOMO in, guys. Trust me, never FOMO in. Always wait for a dip. Be patient. You know what I mean? If you're waiting patiently, you know what I mean, and looking to invest, you know, when there's a crash and there's a dip, right? That's the way to go. You know what I mean? You always got to be patient. That's what I realized. You know what I mean? Like, you have to always be patient, right? Like, sometimes I'll think, like, I'll, I'll look at Ethereum and I'll be like, man, is Ethereum going to, is Ethereum going to dip? You know what I mean? Like, Ethereum has just been pumping. You know what I mean? And then some days it will dip, 
right but then it'll just go back up and i'll be waiting to like for it to like dip even more but i'll just keep popping back up right um so it happens you know what i mean sometimes um when you're ready to invest your money you know into bitcoin or cryptocurrency you know what i mean and it just skyrockets that is not the time to put in guys you just have to patiently wait for a dip and like i said before it's really volatile so dips and crashes will happen right so guys for my bitcoin holders out there and for my cryptocurrency holders out there that are watching this video right now prepare for a crash you know next month june july even august september you know what i mean there, there are going to be crashes you know what i mean during um the cycle right um during this year because it's just whole the whole part of it you know what i mean and do i really see bitcoin dropping all the way down to ten thousand dollars honestly i don't okay i really don't i don't think bitcoin will ever drop down back to like 10 20 30 thousand dollars ever again i don't think that's possible but hey like i said before at the beginning of this video this video sorry um we don't know where bitcoin is really heading you know what i mean like no one realistically knows where bitcoin right the bitcoin price is really heading we really don't know where cryptocurrency is heading right but that's for short term right we don't know where bitcoin is heading for short term we don't know where cryptocurrency is heading for short term right but for long term right we know in five eight ten years from now 15 years from now 20 years from now you know 30 years from now we know that cryptocurrency right is the future we know that bitcoin ethereum is the future you know what i mean like it really is i really do believe bitcoin is going to become global right and once people understand about bitcoin and when when the demand goes up right people want to buy bitcoin and all that and they understand it right they will invest into bitcoin right and obviously that will skyrocket the price you know what i mean not everyone like i said can own a bitcoin so there's only a limited supply of bitcoins so just really think about it not everyone can own a bitcoin and obviously meaning the price will go up and there are a lot more people you know once they understand that bitcoin is really scarce and more limited you know what i mean i feel like they will just hold their bitcoins they wouldn't sell you know what i mean and that's for you guys as well you guys should never ever sell any of your bitcoins i don't even care if it's one percent like zero point zero point you know zero one percent of a bitcoin you know what i mean you guys should never sell any of your bitcoins just huddle okay bitcoin ethereum and there are some other old coins on the crypto market that are great for long-term investments okay bitcoin and ethereum especially they these two cryptocurrencies are great for long-term positions you guys should never sell any of your ethereum or bitcoins right and just keep consistently buying both of these cryptocurrencies right for the next 10 years you know what i mean and hold your positions and you will you know become wealthy and of course have financial freedom which is what everyone wants i'm pretty sure if you're watching this video you know what i mean like everyone in this world wants to have financial freedom right and i feel like this is the safest bet to get there to invest your money into bitcoin and cryptocurrency is to like your safest bet to get wealth and make money of course you know what i mean to become a millionaire and of course to have financial freedom right so guys just be prepared okay just be prepared okay there are always bad news with you know bitcoin and crypto i get that right but this is for the short term right even for the long term yes 10 years from now you know what i mean of course there will be crashes there will be you know um bad news for bitcoin 10 years from now you know what i mean i'm not saying there isn't but you know the bad news about bitcoin and crypto is always going to be stuck with us is what i'm trying to say you know what i mean so what i'm trying to say is guys is just be prepared be prepared for a crash coming up okay be prepared i have a feeling that bitcoin and crypto is going to crash soon you know what i mean next month in may or june or july or august you know what i mean so be prepared for that always have money on the side right to um invest in right when there are crashes you know what i mean because that way you will make the most money because you're always going to buy the dips you know what i mean you, you don't want to buy when everyone's um you know buying in everyone's you know bullish and it's all in the greens and it's skyrocketing that's not the time to buy the time to buy is when everything is down okay when everything is dipping crashing in the reds and everyone is fearful and no one is talking about it right everyone's just scared that is the perfect time to buy in the market 
right? Everyone knows this, you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here. So, like I said, for my Bitcoin holders out there and my cryptocurrency holders out there, be prepared for some bad crashes along the way, okay? This is completely normal, you know what I mean? I feel like there will be a crash coming up in the next few months. I really do believe history does repeat itself. You know, we saw the crash in 2021, like I said, you know what I mean? And we saw the crash, let's just say back in 2017, right? Bitcoin was trading at over, you know, $20,000 and then dipped all the way down to like $5,000. It's normal, right? So guys, be prepared for a crash, okay? But hold on to your positions. And when you see a crash, keep accumulating. Invest more, okay? Do not sell. Just keep accumulating. You know what I mean? So guys, I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you guys haven't already. I really will appreciate that. And I'll catch you guys in my next video. Have a good day.